Hello and welcome to Two Nerds on a Couch. I'm Thor. And I'm Beth. With the end of Chapter 4 Season 1 in just a few days, and the Riftgate becoming more and more unstable, we thought we would take a look back at what a wild ride the last few months have been. We've gone back through the last several weeks of quests, map changes, and storyline to bring you a full recap of everything that happened. Please think about using code Two Nerds on a Couch to support content like this. Now grab some snacks and sit your butt down for a while as we recap this season. Since the storyline is a continuation of Chapter 3 storyline, we'll pick it up with the paradigm as she finds the visitor, the origin, and the scientist studying an odd substance in their underground lab. Tell me you're getting somewhere. We've already lost so much of the island to that chrome. That's not surprising given the sample's behavior. I've never seen such accelerated cytokinesis. Whoa! <sighs> Paradigm went to a different reality to form a plan. The last reality spread its chrome over the entire island, which began the Fracture Event. exploded and the zero point zoomed away to a new area. Paradigm used Zero Fusion to help the Zero Point forge a new island. She sacrificed herself to save us. Our journey begins on a brand new island in a new reality with the Zero Point safely tucked away for now. We explore the island with new weapons, new augments, new items, and a new, or maybe old, enemy, the Ageless Champion. Our story picks up with guidance from Amy. We are guided through the new augment system. 
There's no one here to stop me from unleashing the scientist's experimental reality augmentation system! The reality augmentation system is up and running. Select the mod you want and see what happens. Good job selecting your first reality augmentation! Then Amy tells us that we were given a final mission from the Paradigm. Once we gather the pieces of the mission and Amy decodes it, she tells us what the mission is. She wanted us to bring this box of rocks to the quarry? And then she kind of goes off the deep end. I might not understand you, but I'll always cover your skeletons. Especially the tibias. <laughs> Wait, with all of the seven MIA, once we complete this task, my primary directive will be complete. And I'll be free to do... Whatever I want! <laughs> Uh-oh. She has us mine the kinetic ore, and then she tells us she wants us to visit the castle and start up a vendetta. Wait, no, um, a friendship. After Amy gives the mystery and uh, friend the rocks, she tells us that he wants us to fight his boss. Afterwards, she has an important question for us. What do you say? Wanna help me build my body? Week two began the jolly old time of Winterfest. The Zero Point pulled in a version of the beloved Crackshot's cabin, and Sergeant Winter roamed the island throwing presents to good loopers and coal to bad loopers. The Winterfest cabin brought us presents to open each day, and the storyline chilled out. But we did get the beginning of the My Hero Academia collab with various cosmetics in the item shop. The new powerful Deku Smash Mythic. And a visit from Mr. Beast. The Guardian Shield was introduced and became very useful at stopping Deku Smash and other attacks. There was a map change beyond the decor of Winterfest. A new... uh... something was found on the tower to the north of the Citadel. The plans made it look like a Stargate was about to be constructed. A few weeks later, with Winterfest wrapped up for the season, New Year's celebrated, and the loot pool returning to normal, the 23.20 update brought us our majestic, loyal, winged friend, the Falcon Scout, plus new reality augments like Shotgun Striker, even if that augment was a little messed up at first. And we also got back into the storyline with the second part of the Oathbind quests and the base of the Stargate construction. We were introduced to Rift Warden Stellan. Hail and well met. I'm Stellan, the Rift Warden to the Oathbound. My task, set by the Ageless Champion, is to create a stable Rift Gate, a bridge to new realities. And he let us know that the Ageless Champion instructed him to build a rift gate. He doesn't know if he can trust us with information, so he tasks us to align things so we know where we are among the stars. When we finish the tasks, he decides to trust us and tells us about the shapeless man. Never told. There is a being, a shapeless man. He watches us with dark purpose. If we do not finish the Rift Gate, the consequences will be... terrible. Could this be the Nothing? Could this be Geno? Or is there a different entity that Stellan is talking about? Amy is curious about things and a little worried about the Rift Gate, but she decides to have us test it while she does some research. We grab some items from around the island. She implants chips into those items, and then we send them through her test rift gate. When the items return, they are different, corrupted even, and one brings us a warning about the scientist and the other members of the Seven. The last piece tells us we will find the scientist, but warns us we may not be able to save him. Amy decides to use the Rift Gate to find the scientist the moment it becomes available. 
The second that gate is online, I need to be ready to use it to find him before it's too late. Week eight brought us the bush grenades, another piece of the rift gate construction, and the Kid Leroy concert in Creative, which was really awesome to see what could be done with Fortnite Creative at the time. Week 9 brought us the 23.30 update and a new Dragon Ball collab with Piccolo and Son Gohan. The Nimbus Cloud and Kamehameha Mythics returned and loads of people tried to see which anime mythic was stronger, pitting Kamehameha versus Deku Smash. Page 1 of the Geralt quest were also there to test our abilities as the Witcher. Sylvie was given out to those who were part of the Fortnite crew. This week had the third set of Oathbound quests, where we continued with our story. Stellan starts confessing about his intentions and how originally he came to the Oathbound with nothing and at the behest of the Shapeless Man. He goes on to tell us that he is terrified of the Shapeless Man and wishes to build the Rift Gate as instructed, but there are some stumbling blocks along the way. We have to find a new power source, the Kinetic Ore. It must be stabilized and refined to yield the most power. The Ageless Champion sets the coordinates for the Rift Gate. This alloy will channel the power derived from the Kinetic Ore. If the Rift Gate fails, I fear my nightmares will devour my waking life. Uh, the Champion has set our coordinates. Soon, we will attempt to open the gate. Meanwhile, Amy comes back into the storyline to tell us she needs a body and we need to help her. So we fetch some plans using the Falcon Scout and then we get some parts from the Guardian Shield and bring them to her. She says her goodbyes and tells us to survive. Or don't. Stay safe out there. Or don't. <laughs> it's funnier that way. We haven't seen or heard from her since, but we know she is desperate to get to wherever the scientist is to save him and the other members of the Seven. The most wanted update was a pretty big update. It was practically a separate season worth of stuff all packed into two weeks. There were new vaults, bosses, and NPCs around the map. New exotic weapons and several weapons got involved, plus a new heat system which helped us regenerate health, shield, gold bars, and gave us speed boosts the hotter we got. Rift Knight Kirin was introduced as the March Crew Pack character. We learned that Kirin is the apprentice of Sylvie, and together they defeated the Ageless Champion with Excalibur Rifles. Once we got to the 23.50 update, the Rift Gate had been activated. The Most Wanted vaults were in ruins. The NPCs from the Most Wanted event were gone. The Geralt Page 2 quest became available, and Part 4 of the Oathbound quest continued the storyline once again. Stellan has been keeping the truth from the Ageless Champion. He has us send the coordinates for the Rift Gate. Stellan becomes more and more unhinged. I cannot sleep. The Shapeless Man's gaze burns into me. He does not care if opening the gate rends the island in two. Turn on the Rift Gate. If it is unstable, the stars will determine our fate. The Rift Gate is turned on and is unstable because someone manipulated the coordinates. After we question various islanders and they tell us they haven't touched it, he goes off his rocker. The energy of the Rift Gate is destabilizing. This could rip open the entire sky. And we have no idea what's on the other side. Stars help us. Something worth mentioning is that throughout the season there have been various rift encounters or rift events that brought in a huge plethora of things from a couple of dueling NPCs to a very random container of wolves and even hidden storyline bits with members of the Fox Clan. In the last few days of the season, the Cypher Quest brought us encrypted messages with clues about what's coming next. Will these new additions help us in our fight to save the Seven? Or will they side with the Shapeless Man and Stellan? Stay tuned to our channel by hitting that subscribe button and find out with us! Thank you so much for watching, 
Don't forget to use code two nerds on a couch in the item shop and we'll catch you next season. Bye. Bye.